Hi everyone, in this vlog I'm going to the Orange County Fair. I'm so excited. Of course, first I had to stop at my second home, which is 7-Eleven, to get some coffee and a few snacks for the drive there. This is the fit of the day. I have a blue dress with some white boots and my camera fell as I was trying to get this footage. Like I mentioned, it was a little bit of a drive there, about 45 minutes. So we went ahead and did that and passed by this really cool tunnel. That's perfect. You know what I mean? Like that, that's like <laughs> random. That's cool. The drive is always a fun time there. We listen to music, talk, had a little bit of fun. Then we were approaching the fairgrounds. We were getting excited. Of course, we had to pull into the parking section. As we were approaching, we could see the huge Ferris wheels and it just got us even more excited to go on everything. Once we parked, we went ahead and headed inside. This is how it looked in the beginning. There was a lot of vendors and food stands, so we walked around first to see what we could find, and we sampled some of the food. Some of the stands had $5 deals going on, which was $5, and they give you a mini version of a dish or treat from their stand. We got our wristbands, which were $50 each, and it had unlimited rides from, I believe it was two to eight, I'm not sure. So we definitely took advantage of those for as long as we could and used them until they ran out. And each wristband also came with two games each, so we were able to pick from two games at the carnival, which each wristband, which in total it ended up being four games. And we won some pretty cute plushies from there, which you'll see in a little bit. The first ride that my kids got on was this little pelican, like log ride thing. It had a dip and then it splashed water, and it seemed like it was a lot of fun and refreshing, especially since it was hot. I didn't film every single ride that we went on, but one that we did go on was these little cars and they go round and round, which was pretty cute. This is my husband and I having fun and enjoying while we're watching our kids go on the rides. This is, I believe, our third year doing an annual fair trip. We haven't came to this fair before, but this is our third year going to the fair yearly during the summer and it's become such a beautiful and fun tradition i'm obsessed with carnivals like deeply obsessed with carnivals i don't know what it is about them that i'm just in love with them so i appreciate and love this tradition so much especially being able to bring my kids and for them to have fun as well and this is them doing the house of mirrors of course as i mentioned we tried some games so the first game that we tried we actually didn't win anything my son wanted to try this game and the wind blew his frisbee to the other direction so unfortunately we did not win anything on this one most of the game booths had similar prizes and i saw this cartman just kind of swinging there on his own and i thought it was pretty funny so some of them had like the smaller ones which is one we're about to win right now you just fish up one of these bags and then you get to pick out a prize my daughter picked out this watermelon cone with a bunny as the ice cream and i thought it was pretty cute And of course, you wouldn't be at the carnival if you didn't ride the carousel. Like I said, I'm obsessed with the carnival aesthetic and look. Carousel is obviously a staple in that. My husband and I kept making jokes because we recently saw the movie The Lost Boys. And it wasn't horrible. We just thought it was going to be more carnival-centered. Um, so we just kept making jokes saying that we had more carnival time than The Lost Boys did. Another ride that my kids went on was this boat ride. As you can see, it kind of like spins and tilts. Um, it was going pretty fast in real life so it was kind of crazy to see but it looked like they were having a lot of fun From there, we went on the Dumbo the Elephant ride. I was actually able to get on this ride with my daughter because she was a little bit too short to ride unsupervised. So I went on there with her and you already know I was taking full advantage of the ride. It was so fun. You press this little pedal and you're able to go higher. I pressed it as high as I could and it went pretty high. I felt like I was very high up and you were able to see all the fare. The view looked absolutely amazing. Super cute and super fun. I really liked this ride. I 
From there, we decided to take a small break from doing the rides. As I mentioned, some of the booths had a $5 deal, so we went ahead and tried this freeze-dried cotton candy. The texture, if you've never had a freeze-dried candy, I would say is kind of like trick cereal. It's a little bit crunchy, but personally, I did not like it at all. It was severely sweet. I think that it would do better with a different type of candy because cotton candy is obviously very sweet. It just didn't mix for me. I didn't enjoy it. Another thing that we tried was this candy bacon like pork thing. This was just like the little sampler portion of what we got. So it's a single bacon wrapped bite of I think pork belly. Is that hot? Uh -huh. <laughs> And it has fries on the bottom it was pretty good i would for sure try it and get it again with walking around a little bit more we saw this like stage area there was people performing we got a pretzel and a snow cone we also saw those little fruits as you can see they were pretty cute taking pictures with people dancing it's 20 dollars and if you want to refill oh my god look we got a freaking looper burger oh i saw the the donut right mm -hmm. <laughs> Say it again. What? what are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you I talking heard about? you. What are you talking about? You didn't hear nothing. <laughs> Most of the food and drinks that they had there was a decent price. Of course, it's a carnival, so you're going to expect the thing is a little bit more expensive. But we were just discussing the price of, I don't remember what it was, but it was pretty expensive. And we were like, heck no. We stopped at this little face painting station. My daughter got her face painted as a kitty. And there was this cute little mirror there. Then we went on this haunted mansion ride. It was just you sit in it and then I didn't go inside so I don't know what it was. But my kids said it wasn't that scary. It was pretty cool. I can imagine they had like animatronics and stuff. And this was them getting off of the ride. I got a lot of like montage style shots. Like I said, I live for the carnival aesthetic. I could be on a carnival and not doing anything and just be having the time of my life. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'm just obsessed with all the rides and everything. It just looks like so much fun and it is so much fun. I also got this lemonade. I don't remember how much it was, but it comes with this souvenir reusable cup. It was a little bit too sour, so we added some water in it and it made it a lot better. It was just like really sour. This ride was really cute. It had like little whales to sit in and a bootleg Ariel mermaid spinning on the top. The whales kind of went in little waves as to mimic them swimming in the ocean, which I love because I also am obsessed with marine life. We did another roller coaster which was rocket themed. This one was a little bit faster than the ones that we had previously been on, but it was still pretty fun. Of course, the spinning teacups are a classic and a staple no matter what amusement park you go to. It always reminds me of that scene on Uptown Girls where Molly and Ray are spinning on an empty Coney Island teacup and it's pretty cute. These monster trucks are something that we've seen at other fairs before and they're always so much fun. We saw this anti-gravity spinny thingy multiple times and my kids wanted to go on it. They were not tall enough yet, but I was so scared I would not let them go on it. I don't think at least right now, but they did ride the bumper cars, which was pretty cool and fun. And this little thing, I don't remember what it was called, but it went pretty fast.
One of the coolest things that I saw that I personally am so jealous that I was not able to go on, obviously because it's for kids, was these little like boats. They were able to like drive on themselves so you could drive around like the little pool that they had here. And I just think it's really cool and fun and I would have killed to go on there. Of course, they had these little spinning dog things. As I mentioned, we had a few games that came with the wristbands that we purchased. One of them was this fishing game. One of the fishes actually got stuck when it was going around and the attendant was like really mad that it was stuck as if we were doing it on purpose, but it was stuck so we got it out and we did win a prize from here. And this other roller coaster that my kids went on was pretty fun. Again, it was a little bit more advanced than the ones that they had gone on before, but they had a lot of fun doing it and it looked like a good time. There was a little petting zoo, so we got to see some zebras, some goats. They had chickens and bunnies. It was pretty cute and fun. As I mentioned before, this has become a tradition for my family and it's something that I'm absolutely obsessed with and I'm so glad that we're able to take our kids to do, have fun and build these memories. We stayed there until it got dark and honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. I look forward to coming back next year, even if it's not specifically to this one. I look forward to coming back to the fair every year and making it an annual fun tradition thing. If you've never been to a fair, not just the OC Fair Fair in general, or you haven't gone in a while, I would encourage you to go ahead and try to go to one if you can. It's just always a good time, especially going with friends or family. And even going by yourself, you could go on anything you want and you don't have anybody bugging you not to. The fair and the carnival is just always such a staple for summertime, especially with summertime coming to an end for me and I love it and I look forward to it every single year. After this, we did go to eat to in and out because we were still a little bit hungry from trying the carnival food. And I don't know, it's just something about a fair and a carnival at nighttime that I just am so obsessed with. It, it really is just so magical and I'm so lucky to have been able to come. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.